we're doing an experiment on the um the um doing an experiment on the um pollution in the air. The, um, we made a car. We put one car aboard and Vaseline. Why did we put Vaseline on it? Because um, it. What are we trying to trap on that? Um, we put strings. Why okay, did we put strings two. on them? So we can hang them up. Yeah, and collect data on. Yes. What are we collecting data on? What are we collecting the data on? Pollution! I my air pollution way up here. My card right up here to produce air pollution. pollution. I put mine here to collect data. I'm doing the audio. I put mine here to collect data. We put ours in the peach tree. I have mine in the hallway. I put mine here. This experiment is to catch bad pollution air like that. I put mine with Vaseline on my cardboard to catch pollution. This experiment to compare air pollution. Air pollution. I put my one here to get to 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 put that to get to stop the dirty air. This one was on the peach tree and I got a lot of air pollution. This one was on the school door where the rainy thing, where it always rains. And you can't even see the air pollution, but I, but I, I see some little dots on it. So that means it has air pollution. And where do you think that these things came from? These things came from the air. In the air? Do you think they might have fallen off the tree? I think so, because last time when I first checked on it, it was on a brick laying like that. And then when I oh, saw so it. Oh, so it had fallen? It must have fallen. Oh, so it might have actually fallen into the dirt. So we think yours might be a bit compromised, right? It's not a fair test if it, if it didn't wasn't hanging the whole time. If it fell in a dirty puddle, that's not really but, talking about air pollution. But I can see little dots on it, so it has some air pollution. Oh, just tiny dots. Good call, Willa. One. This one was on a tree. We only got like a little bit of air pollution. But this one, um, I can't really remember. But it got a, a bunch of air pollution. Also some um, stuff in there. Some was that one inside or outside? Outside. So they're both outside? Mm -hmm. I put this one on the tennis court at the top. And I put this one on a tree. Right on the basketball thingy mm -hmm. and i went to go well this one's in the bathroom mm -hmm. and i got a little and this one was on the court so this one him. was outside yes and this one was inside yes thank you this one was on the court and it must it fell on the dirt and it was on the grass so it got a bit of air pollution, and then this one... Was well, if it fell in the grass, is that air pollution, or is that dirt from the grass? Dirt. Okay, go ahead. So, um, this one got a bit of dirt because it fell in the grass, but also I kind of see little tiny dots, too, because mm -hmm. it went, like, and then this was in the... This was in the bathroom, like out the windows. There's like this little hook, so I lifted it up, put it on, and then closed it back away so nobody could reach it. So, if you see, if you look closely, there is a bit of air pollution. All right, thank you. Little tiny black dots. Mine was in the thing and it got a little bit of air pollution. What thing? Where was it? It was in, in the, the bathroom. bathroom. Okay. It was in the bathroom and got a little bit of air pollution. Okay. And what about your other one? Plus it. My, my other one was out. My one other one was outside on. On the bank, on the bank, on the bank, the bank holes, and it got a little bit of air pollution. Thank you. This is, uh, this is like, I got a little, a lot of air pollution. It, 
Well, yes. do we think this is air pollution? Let's take a good look at this. It, Where was this one? It was it was outside of front. Did that look like air pollution? Or do those look like, actually those look like seeds and a little bit of twigs. So I wouldn't call that air pollution because that's much bigger, right? Yeah. And we definitely collected things. So what do you think? Do we have a lot of air pollution in Bermuda, Kiara? Yes. Yes, you think we have a lot of air pollution? The places that didn't, wasn't outside, because the outside ones we talked about, they have a lot of other stuff going on, other factors and the variables, that's a science word, like things that get in the way of your experiment. So like the, the seeds that was on Zara, or the dirt when it fell, that kind of throws off our experiment, right? So we can't call that a fair test. But the ones inside, were those covered in filth? No. No, they were all fairly clean, right? We, that's good to know. We have a pretty clean school. So, hello, what were you going to say? I was just going to say that if we, that marine examples, we should have a factory that we smoke them in during air. Yeah. And when you breathe it in, mm -hmm. you get sick and you might die. Yeah. And do we have a lot of factories that produce smoke in Bermuda? No, good thing we don't. Because we, a lot of people must have died. Yeah, so there's the incinerator and there's Belco that goes out stuff. Would you, what would you think would one of these would look like? What would that one look like, Sahaley, if we put it right next to a smokestack? It would look, it would look very dirty. What if I... It would I, look like swimmers. Yeah. What if, um, Rocco, what if we put one on the back of the car where, and the tailpipe? Yeah, that'd be dirty. Yeah. Way, and it would go away probably when the car started. Oh yeah, we'd have to really secure it because it would, it would be tricky to keep it on back of the car. Why would you want to secure it if it will bring in a lot, a lot of pollution and? Oh, just to collect the data, just to collect the information. And then like the next day you would take it off. Yeah.